Hi, my name is Ilir, and welcome to this Academy video for what is digital signage. There are several terms to describe what we at Databeat are working on, and the most commonly used term is digital signage. You have also heard of screen publishing, info screens, and public display. We will first take a look at Wikipedia, what they say about digital signage. Of course, it's in the short form, but they say that digital signage is a professional term for displaying multimedia content on digital display surfaces. Before we go further and take a look at some customer examples, let's look at what distinguishes analog versus digital communication. Over the years, Databeat has had the opportunity to help many companies digitize and streamline their communications from governmental institutions, retail, offices, kindergartens, schools, and sports arenas. The companies that use Databit Omni claim that they both save money on communicating digitally with their audience, but also that they raise awareness around their messaging and products. With the functionality of Databit Omni, you have the opportunity to change the content and messaging in a matter of seconds. And this cannot be done with analog solutions. We are often faced with the question from customers and potential customers on why should they invest in a digital signage solution? And some of the arguments that they have are, it's difficult to use, it's unstable, and it's expensive. This is exactly what Databit has been working on since, the, since 2005. Databit Omni should be easy, easy to use so that anyone can create and publish their content to one or many screens. Databit Omni is a stable solution the reason to that is that we work closely with the different hardware suppliers around the world. And of course, it should be cost effective so that anyone should see the upside in investing in digital signage. I have a recent example that I wanted to show you. Our growth director, Joel, was in a meeting and in the lobby, he was met with this whiteboard. Joel took the opportunity to show digital signage in practice right away. He took the content from this whiteboard we see in the example and created a quick template and upload, uploaded it to Databit Omni. And this is what it looks like. So you can picture it from this to this. There is a big change. Now I will show some examples on how digital signage is used. Databit has many different customers in different industries. We usually say that Databit Omni has a place wherever you want to communicate something digitally to an audience. Here, we will present some selected customers who have replaced the analog communication with the digital through Databit Omni. We work closely with some customers to build brands in the physical stores. And Google is such an example. They communicate on larger surfaces to create the awareness on their products and services. Another example is Elchip. They use digital signage to promote their products and new releases. They also use traditional posters for, for that same promotion. But the winner when it comes to turnover is, of course, digital signage. It attracts more and it has a much more visual impact of, to the audience than a traditional poster, which we see in this example. It has also become very common to communicate digitally in the shop window to increase attention of bypassers and to draw them into the store. Something super dry does really good, as we see in this example. Another example, Schneider Electric, has also managed to improve their internal communication with the use of digital signage. Schneider realized that employees were not good enough to search for information on the intranet or in emails, but by taking the most of the important messages and publishing them into a screen in the common areas of the company, they managed to raise awareness of the important issues internally. We also see that there are several companies and restaurants that communicate both menu items and other informations for employees internally. Another example is Tusenfried, 
which is the largest amusement park in Norway, they use screens to communicate ticket prices and other types of information and for example what is going on in the amusement park mix is one of the large and convenience store chains in norway they also communicate digitally in some of their stores and here they work actively throughout the day with different type of promotional offers and and to raise awareness for bypassers on products that may be that may be relevant for them as an example they use weather dependent publishing they show an offer for coffee in the morning and ice cream when it's sunny outside. Schuvelman Kindergarten and Eva Sun is also a prime example of a customer who previously thought digital signage was difficult, unstable and expensive. But now she has her own channel to communicate with both staff and especially parents. It has managed to raise awareness of important things and visualizing the activities that are scheduled for the kids throughout the day and the week and the month, of course. Real estate agents also use digital signage to communicate housing prospects and other information for their potential customers. And this real estate agent, the agent is a prime example on how they have taken digital signage to the next level. To wrap this up, I would like to show a customer who has had great success in communicating digitally, and that is Cutters. Cutters is one of the largest hairdresser chains in Norway. Not only do they communicate available drop-in hours for people passing by, but they also promote different products during the day. But one cool thing that they do is that they entertain their customers on the screen while they get a haircut. I hope through these examples that you have gotten a sense on what digital signage is. Thank you for watching this Academy video. See more videos on our Academy page.